Hi guys, so in this video, I'm going to show you top free Procreate brushes for sketching. So without any further ado, let's just jump right in. So a good sketching brush should have a little bit of texture in the brush, should be smooth when it comes to the brush stroke so that it's easier to sketch, should be scalable enough as in you should be able to increase its size big enough to kind of color some parts of the sketch with, with the brush itself self and the last one is you should be able to draw tiny details so for instance like eyelashes eyebrows if you are drawing a portrait you should be able to draw those things with that sketching brush very easily now no matter what painting or what art what kind of art you're into basically what i mean is this brush should be able to create details effortlessly so the first brush on this list is this brush called peppermint from the sketching brush set this is procreate a default brush meaning this is free and i will be actually painting eyes with all of these brushes and at the end i will be showing you guys all the eyes that i have created with all of these brushes then you can be the judge and decide what brush you like the most now i like this brush because it checks all the things i listed initially in the video the brush strokes are smooth it has texture which we want when it comes to sketching even if you are considering painting your painting later on your sketch lines should have some sort of texture because it adds to the final painting and you can actually scale this enough to shade if you want so as you guys can see if i'm shading with light hands you guys can see i am able to shade i'm able able to add shades as you would see in traditional pencil sketches right so it checks all the things i listed initially in the video that's why i like using this brush sometimes for my sketchings so as you guys can see here i am quickly really really quickly just sketching an eye and i am not sure if i like this brush a lot because i've been using my own sketching brush for the past couple of weeks so maybe i've kind of gotten used to that but it's not bad it's really really good it feels like a pencil only that's what we want and now i'm just gonna go ahead and start creating some eyelashes just to see if this brush will be able to create the details and it's actually doing that for me that's what i want want that's what you want it should be able to create tiny little details for your paintings as well right and that's what i'm doing here now i'm just gonna try and add some shade so let's just say if i want to add some shade right here on the iris and yeah it's doing that for me so i think it's a good brush and you can use it for sketching just adding more details onto the eyes and we'll be adding more shades just to see how this goes and yeah it's working really well you can always just reduce opacity if it's like a little too much but when i'm like sketching on paper that's how i sketch my eyes or whatever i'm sketching i like to use the pencil itself to add some shades onto the eyes because it's good when it comes to let's just say have a good nice sketch but it's also good if you are planning to paint it later on so yeah i think it's a good brush you will see me actually adding this eye at the end and you can just decide if you like it that much or not now the next brush on this list is dry ink from inking brush set again it has all the qualities we are looking for let me just create another layer it has all the qualities we are looking for is it is definitely really really pigmented but it is completely fine you can always just decrease the opacity of the brush to just start sketching whatever you're sketching so again i am sketching the eye and this one is definitely much smoother when it comes to creating or drawing the strokes um this is definitely much smoother than the uh, previous one which was peppermint and this is smooth this has texture this is definitely better than the one we were using before but the one i was using before is also good that's why i it actually made it to the list right now i'm gonna create the eyelashes this is like the main test of any brush i use it should be able to create eyelashes and eyebrows for me because i create a lot of portraits and stuff so that's why i am looking always on the lookout for brushes which can actually help me create lashes eyebrows and stuff like that really really easily without 
me having to change the brush constantly. So that's the whole idea behind having just one good brush because you don't want to keep on switching the brush because it just takes a lot of time. Like I just always just pick up one brush and just I'm good to go. So now I'm just going to test it for if it's going to shade for us. And as you guys can see, it is actually shading for us. And that's the only kind of shade I'm looking for. I'm not looking to shade the whole thing with this brush. So yeah, I think it's good enough and it's doing the job. And if it's really pigmented, I would always go back and just reduce the opacity. That's the good part about digital art, you know, just it's really flexible. Like you can just do anything with it. So yeah, it is past the test. It's really, really good. I think I really like this one better than the previous one. The next one on this list is my own brush, which is Line Out from Skin Essential Brush Set. By the way, this brush set is absolutely free. I will be linking it down in the description box below. I'm not bragging you guys, but I really like this brush. Oh my God, I have to create new layer yeah i really really like this brush you guys can see if i increase its size this has this little texture and the strokes are really really smooth for sketching and that's what i like so i'm just gonna i actually initially sketched this eye right here which is looking really really good really just the way i like it so i was surprised to see that i couldn't find a brush on procreate which is like this brush which i created i'm sorry i'm not bragging it just it's really really good you have to try it so i'm just gonna really really quickly once again try and sketch an eye so as you guys can see the strokes are really smooth you will know what i'm talking about once you use it so again it's smooth and the thing with this brush is it's good with pressure so if i put a lot of pressure it's dark if i put light pressure it's light and that's what i like with brushes because when you are traditionally drawing let's just say with a pencil that's what a pencil does if you are putting less pressure on the paper it's going to give you real light pigmentation of that pencil but if you're putting more pressure it's going to give you more pigmentation and that's what we're also looking for in our brushes gonna see if it draws eyelashes yes it does it's smooth it's effortless for me and that's why i created this brush i wanted a brush which is real close to real life pencil but it is not like really really close to real life pencil but it's really really good for digital art sketching i think it's better than a pencil to be honest okay and that's why i created this brush the lashes are looking good they're looking effortless okay so i'm gonna also try and see if this will be able to draw eyebrows which i know this will be able to because i've like tried and trusted it so many times but yeah strokes are smooth with texture and yeah eyebrows are looking nice now we'll see if this can actually shade for us. I'm just going to increase the size of the brush. And as I said, it's good with pressure. I'm going to be putting light pressure because I don't want a lot of shade right here. So that's what it did. I can also just add darker shades wherever I want because again of the pressure sensitivity gonna add just decrease its opacity even though i don't need to gonna add the shades wherever i think i need those shadows and stuff and yeah we're done and you can actually i always also add some sort of color on the eyebrows as well but yeah i think this is a really really good brush not just for sketching but for line art as well i originally created it for line art only but but I also use it for my sketches as well. So we have two, we have created two eyes with this brush and both of them look really good. So yeah, I think it was just enough to show you that I like this brush for sketching, for line art and for everything. So that's that. Now let's just move on to the next brush. The next brush, which is good for sketching is Chalk from Calligraphy Brush Set. I know this is not exactly a sketching brush, but you can actually make any brush your sketching brush. So again, it's it actually has everything we are looking for it has texture it's this uh, brush strokes are really really smooth you cannot really control the pigmentation of this brush that much with the pressure you're putting onto the screen but still really good brush if you tilt the brush a little bit or tilt your pencil a little bit you can get a real light brush stroke so again gonna go ahead and test it on our eyes catching really really quickly so yeah the brush strokes are really smooth you guys 
really smooth. I'm just gonna reduce the opacity because it's giving me a lot of pigmentation, which I do not really want. Eyes are looking creepy, but it's okay. Like we're just testing this brush and I'm just gonna see if this will be able to create nice eyelashes. I think they are creating nice eyelashes. The texture is a little too much, but you can reduce it by reducing the size of the brush. But I think they're, it is, this brush is good. Like it's creating good eyelashes for me. I'm gonna use it. Now we're just gonna see if this will be able to shade for us. So again, I'll have to reduce the opacity because it's giving me a lot of pigmentation and yeah, it's able to actually shade. It's looking good. Reduce the opacity a little more so that I can add that shade over here like that. And I think this brush will be able to also create eyebrows for me. The eyes are looking so creepy right now. So yeah, that's that. So I like this brush also. This is really chalky and really pencily. So if you want to create real traditional looking sketch and that's what your goal is, I think this is a real good brush for that. With this the list is complete. We have four sketching brushes, which are the best brushes on Procreate 3 for free to create good sketching. So here we have our eye sketches from all the four brushes we use in this video. The first one is peppermint, second is drying, third one is line art from my own brush set and the last one is chalk. Let me know down in the comment section below which one is your favorite and which one are you going to pick for your own sketching or sketch art, okay? Or sketch painting, whatever you want to call it, right? So I really hope you guys found this video helpful. Again, let me know which brush is your favorite brush and I will see you guys in my next video.